Well, uh, we work on making minerals hydrous. That is, we try to grow crystals in the laboratory at high pressures uh, under hydrous conditions in order to understand how much water can be dissolved in the minerals that we think are in the interior of the earth. Well, as you go down inside the earth, the pressure rises. And so the, um, it, it, the pressure when you squeeze a rock in the laboratory, uh, you can raise the temperature or raise the pressure, but as you raise the pressure, the minerals change. And the pressure is generally a larger effect than the temperature. So the pressure, as you squeeze a rock in the lab, the minerals change their crystal structures and they arrange, rearrange the um, crystal structures at the atomic scale and rearrange the elements to make new minerals uh, in the earth. And so the different minerals uh, have different physical properties. Well, the water is soluble at different levels in those different minerals. So we think that the upper 400 kilometers of the Earth is uh, made up of uh, mostly olivine and pyroxenes, and we measure the solubility of water or hydrogen in the, those, those minerals. At 410 kilometers, the olivine changes its crystal structure to a different mineral. And we study that how soluble the water is in that different mineral. It turns out that water is very soluble in the high pressure forms and less soluble in the low pressure forms. Well, in the laboratory, we've got two methods of generating pressure. One is a, uh, a large uh, hydraulic press in which we can get to pressures of equivalent to depths of about 900 kilometers. So we can, we can crystallize the rocks uh, in fairly small pieces, a few millimeters in size, under those very high pressure conditions. We can go to much higher pressures in a much smaller device called a diamond anvil cell press. And so we can get pressures that are greater than the center of the earth in the smaller diamond anvil cell press.